Have you ever wondered if you should list at the beginning of the year or if you should wait until spring? Well, we have the answers for you. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to our team chat. Um, we're here at Sandy's lovely home and uh, she's nice enough to host the team chat uh, today. It's uh, November 2021, so the stats that we are going to talk about mainly are um, based on this timeline. Um, Sherry, you want to introduce yourself? I'm Sherry Allen. Well, and I'm Sandy. I'm the host. I'm so glad you guys are here. Normally, we do this at the office, so I'm glad we can do this over a cup of tea. Um, the question that has been burning on one of my clients' mind is he is getting ready to move. Um, in the new year. He would be ready to move in February, but he's wondering if he should maybe hold off and uh, wait until March because possibly the prices will go up or there'll be more buyers in the spring. That's what everyone always says. Wait till the spring. Right. So I just wanted to throw that out um, to see what you guys think. Is it worth for him to pay an extra month's mortgage on a vacant house, the heat, the lights, in order to wait for the March market versus the February market. What do you guys think? Well, it was interesting when we looked up the stats. In my mind, I was thinking, always wait, 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 because the spring always brings more buyers. It also brings more competition. Yeah. But I thought since the market was steadily increasing, that for sure waiting was the thing to do. But that's why you know, we look up the stats so we know for sure, right? Right. So, so what did we find that... Well, we just looked at the stats and I would have done the same thing. I I would have said, <laughs> let's wait until March. Mm -hmm. Not just because that's when the buyers come out and get ready, but you know, the photos are nicer, trees start blooming, sun comes out, it just... Uh, it's less chance for rain in March, but yes. so when we look at the March numbers last year, that will be a reflection of the homes that were listed in February, right? which is what he was considering doing is listing either February or March. So if I look at last year's March number, last year meaning this 2021, this year. So the, this past March. This past March. There is a 0.07% increase. It's not even 1% jump from February to March. So in it's, price, in it's, sold price. In median closed sales price. And the time, the day, average days that a home is on the market in February and March, those numbers are identical. They're both 18 days this past, this year. So it makes no difference that the homes sell faster in March. And um, the increase in March is less than, it's less than three quarters of 1%. Um, that probably is so negligible that it's not worth him paying his mortgage on an empty house, paying his light bill and his utilities to wait that extra month. Um, that's what our numbers show. And the year before, if we go back to 2020 and look at the num numbers for February and March, it's actually the prices in March actually went down for some odd reason in 2020. So I guess I would have to go back to him and say it's not worth waiting till March, even if the pictures do look nicer. It's not going to hurt him either, but it's not going to be to uh, his advantage. advantage. So if he needs his money, if he needs his net proceeds, then let's put the house on the market in February whenever he's ready and not wait that extra month till the spring market. And so he, his home is in Thurston County, the way these stats are showing. His home is in Thurston County, and it's um, based on the market analysis I did, it's just about at the median price. Right now, the median price in Thurston County, that's for September, because we don't have the October numbers yet, is $470,000. That's just about where his house is, so it's really median price. That's yeah. awesome. And so um, looking at the last year, everything was just skyrocketing. What what are you seeing, Sherry, um, for you know prices continuing to increase, or are they flattening out? Um, they, I'm seeing that they are beginning to slow 
the amount of appreciation. Projections are still stating for the next um, two quarters that prices will still be going up um, according to the trends that I've seen so far. Um, so I think the market's still going to be trending upward, maybe not as fast. Properties are staying in the market a little bit longer than they have been. Um, and they're selling for a smaller over list price. Yeah, the short list. is kind yeah. of crazy. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. We're selling closer to list price or just above as opposed to twenty, fifty thousand dollars yeah. above list price. That's yeah. reducing. I think it's going to be a, a interesting to just you know kind of teach our sellers that hey, two years ago. They might have gotten twenty thousand over ask, the you know their mm -hmm. their list price. Now it's going to be closer to actually the list price, and it beats I, being the lowest price, no, right? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. But you know, I don't want them to expect, right. you know, to have uh, fourteen offers like we used to have, oh right? Gosh. It's it's dwindled, I think, to like three. That's kind of my last few listings. I got three offers versus. 27 which was my max mm -hmm. and I think over the summer the average was easy 5% above list so that uh, was significant but now I'm seeing just a little bit over just to show the seller I really, really want your house and want to make you a good offer but not crazy right which is good and as we approach the holiday season that will level off a little bit more too mm -hmm. because less buyers and sellers are willing to move or Want to move yeah. during the holiday season? That's right. But that's every year. Every right. year, it's, yeah. It's, yes. but I, I found that this year, normally, I mean, this is now November. Normally, it's very quiet. It's the time to go on vacation. Right. It's and so busy. Uh, I just listed a house yesterday. I have a closing Friday. I have a couple of buyers. It's like different than any other year. It's still much busier now than it used to be. This time and of year. Even according to your, well, that was last year's test, but yeah, even according to like this current trend for these last few months, prices have still been increasing and yeah. short days on market. Yeah. And they're so much shorter say. than the previous year. Right. The average days on market was like between 27 and 40 days. And right now it's 14. That down. Yeah. 14, that's the average. So 14 days. I, that includes homes that are just like dead in the water. Or it includes new construction that they list before they even have the permits. Right. And they're going, they to, be on the market. Days on they're market. going to be on the market, you know, for months. But if the average is 14 and includes those, for I think a market ready house, it's probably five, six days that they're mm -hmm. on the market and then they're gone. That's what my MLS stats are when I do an appraisal, since I am a real estate appraiser. I didn't mention that before. Mm -hmm. um, the days on the market that I see are usually five to not usually 10. Um, that's the median for that's that good to know. particular um, similar square footage to whatever house that I'm valuing it is about five to ten days on the market. Yeah and usually yeah. sellers are, and buyers are willing to wait for five days if they're the first ones to put in the offer. You know I think five it's, days it's is how little... long they'll wait but then when you go and Ask try them. and say Let's give it a week, then some buyers just can't afford to wait a week to find out now they didn't get the house and they have to start from scratch. Mm -hmm. And then they lose a whole yeah. weekend of showings and everything. But on the other hand, some sellers say they're so proud their previous home sold in one day. It's like, that's, yes, technically, could we sell it in one day? Yes, you could sell it but in one really day, right? right? To take the first offer. Do you really offer? want that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want it to sit there a little bit and have more buyers come and outbid themselves. Yeah. Make sure you're getting fair market. Yeah. Right. I like to, I like to list and wait five days, four or five days. So what's the, you like to list on Thursdays? No, I like, oh. well, I like to list Tuesdays or Wednesdays. Tuesdays or Wednesdays. And then have a weekend to do an open house before mm -hmm. sellers review offers, either Sunday or Monday. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of listings go on the market on Thursday, I noticed. Really? Yeah. They're, my buyer's, you know, disappointed that they didn't get the, you know, the house that they put in an offer over the weekend. And I, don't worry. Thursday's on coming. Thursday, we'll <laughs> check the market again and there'll be a, a slew yeah. of new listings. So. I'm glad to see that we're not, you know, we were down to just a few homes to choose from, you know, last year. It's crazy. Yeah, it's 
getting that's getting a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, more inventory. We were under half a month's inventory last year, under 0.5 months. In the right now, we're at 0.6, so we're just at over <laughs> half a month. It's small, but it's something. Two weeks is not a long time no. for us to sell out. No, you know, it's crazy. Yeah, it's scary. So I have some, uh, a little pamphlet, uh, booklet that I was gonna give to whoever wants it. Um, it's uh, the five biggest mistakes to avoid when selling your home. And uh, so if anyone wants one of these copies, just let us know. Perfect, let me see some of those. Yeah, if you wanna go through yeah. the, there's, there's five, so if you wanna just mention the five. Mistake one, neglecting needed renovations before listing for sure failing to properly stage the home that's a big one I know. oh that's a real big one i believe in staging mm -hmm. asking too much or too little for the home totally true it's a you know that mm -hmm. a home has to be priced right it has to be priced right sometimes when the house is priced lower than what the other homes are being sold for or even listed for. It makes a buyer and a realtor wonder what's wrong with this place. Mm -hmm. um, so they may not want to go to that listing. They might steer their buyer away from it just because well, there might be some issues. Or it could be that the seller is very motivated and they want to sell fast. And so um, you might not have an opportunity to Competition's different. I, I remember when we would list the home below market value so that we would have a Both bidding war to actually get it over mm -hmm. over the market value, which caused a lot of uh, stress for appraisers to try and figure out what is the true market yeah, value. Exactly. And even still doing reports now, it's like we still see some properties that are under contract considerably higher than what they were listed for and it's like okay well is it why is that is it just because shortage of supply mm -hmm. because it was competitive marking to create a bidding war is there maybe really something wrong with the property that's not being disclosed but yet it's still priced low and there's still bidding taking place because buyers are wanting to Desperate. take almost anything out yeah. there right now and it could be that um, a variety of factors it could be that the seller is contingent and he needs to okay. sell the house in order to get the next house and in this crazy market. They need to really hurry up and get the house right. sold and list it. Aggressive. List it low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mistake four, selling to the first highest bidder. And that's where that comes in. Don't just stay on the just market for patient. one day. Be Let patient. some buyers see it, collect mm -hmm. some offers for sure. And not working with the right agent. Isn't that the truth? Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Well, those are some great points. Some and nice there's some uh, some answers of yes. what to how to remedy, how to remedy those. that. Uh -huh. Very nice. Well, thanks for putting that together, man. Yeah, you're That's welcome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Yes. I'm glad you guys Thank you for hosting our lunch. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah. Next time we'll do it at your house because I yes. can't wait to see your tile floor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, thanks everyone. Thanks Thank for joining you. us, and yes. I hope you learned something today. And if you're ready to list, call the key group.